the PA Biodiesel Supply, home of the Ultimate Force Centrifuge. Um, we're bringing you our centrifuge comparison video. We're going to start with the WVO designs. I say they would be the first in the hot seat. Okay, um, WVO designs, smallest unit. Uh, I like the latches, can't lose them, they're quick release. Um, I know in the write-up they tell you how this promotes evaporation. Uh, I'm not sure how as uh, it's pretty much a negative air pressure. Nothing coming out of here. Um, bowl removed with, I believe, 7th, 8th inch socket. Okay. WVO Designs has the smallest bowl. Okay. Uh, they don't have a removable lip or even a lid, okay? Um, this is tight. If you want to get in there and try to scrape, if you know anything about waste motor oil, uh, a lot of times you're scraping, okay? Um, WVO Designs, um, after they built the unit, they realized what they were having, oil would splash, okay? So then they, as an afterthought, built the power cone. Okay, power cone forces the oil to the bottom of the bowl so it can work its way through the total uh, gamut of forces. Uh, WVO Designs comes with an inline heater. Uh, I think this is their second. I think they've had third, three different ones. Uh, I know there's another one now, so um, I haven't had any problems with this one. I hope not too. Uh, WVO Designs, a couple years ago you used to be able to call and talk to the owner, now you talk to Jason, he's out in California, um, companies in South Carolina. Okay, nice small compact unit, easily lifted, moved around, um, that's their unit. Okay, then we come to Simple Centrifuge. Simple Centrifuge uses like nuts for lack of a better terminology. Um, lid's kind of awkward. Heavy lid uh, probably should have handles, okay, to get it on and off. The bowl comes out with Allen wrench, which is pretty nice. Has an accelerator, okay. Uh, as you see, has a closed style lid which is rather nice. Um, bowl, not really much bigger than WVO Designs. Okay. Uh, question that kind of piques my curiosity. Um, the three units we're, we're comparing ourselves to were all built in the heyday of WVO. If you know anything about this business, um, six years ago, probably 95 to 98% of our business was vegetable oil. So I'm not sure why you would put a centrifuge out without an inline heater, okay? Because with vegetable oil, it's not even about removing water, it's about uh, viscosity, okay? Thinning the oil so that the oil contaminants can be pulled through the bowl more efficiently. Um, I have heard that WV or Simple Centrifuge is a machine shop. I believe out in the western part of the country. Okay, then we come to Filter Max. Uh, Filter Max, if you go to his uh, website, he's written nine, ten books. One's on alternative energy. Most of his books are written on foundry, that type of thing. Um, I believe he's a machine shop too. Uh, the alternative fuel book he he written. Um, there's really only six pages that really deal with what we're doing in alternative fuel and there's only like I think two or three paragraphs about blending. Um, we really promote going to forums okay and I know not all the the information you're going to get from a forum is like the best of information but you're talking to people who are doing what you're doing, not just people that are building equipment. Okay, um, has handles. It's a good thing because this is a heavy lid. This is the heaviest unit and the largest unit. Okay, um, 
As you see, it's a belt driven unit. To remove the bowl, you've got to take the belt off. I'm going to untighten this over here. Okay, and okay, this is probably the least out of all the units, the least friendly to use unit. Okay, um, they might tell you you don't have to take the bowl out to clean it. Um, uh, but if you're doing a tote, you figure this centrifuge is setting up here, so you're going to need a step stool to get up and open it up to scrape it out. If you're doing a drum, you still need to be 35 inches off the drum, so your centrifuge is sitting at approximately this height. Okay, not exactly the easiest thing. Uh, Refuels or Filter Max just probably within the last six months came out with an inline heater. Again, I'm not sure because the inline heater should have come out with your unit if you did oil because you knew you would have needed it. Um, doesn't have a lid, has a bolt on lip. Okay, uh, there's no accelerator cone, so anything that splashes off the centrifuge to the wall will not be driven through the whole force spectrum. Okay, this is what I mean. If you look at the holes, they're not much bigger than the shafts. And this is like a royal pain. Okay, believe it or not, I'm not easy that time. Okay, um, 125 pound machine. I use a weight belt to move this thing. Okay, yeah, this isn't going to be one you're going to want to move around at all. So, solid machine. Um, one horsepower, one and a half horsepower on a pulley. Okay, um, before we build our unit, a lot of people asked us why. We, have, we offer oil pressure centrifuges. Um, and I, I, after thinking about it, um, if the equipment's out there, why wouldn't we want to offer it? Okay, and we really had, we're able to have the best of all worlds. We've got all our competition. We were able to look at them. We were able to utilize them. Um, we could take the best of all of them, and I'm hoping that's what we did. Uh, these I love. Quick release latches. They're going to hold the lid on. Uh, unhook them. They're not going anywhere. The lid, solid lid, lightweight, easy to remove. Our bowl. Okay, our bowl's removed with an Allen wrench. Ease. Okay, we run a solid lid, okay, we also run our lid locks to the unit, okay, locks right to the bolt, and then bolts down for safety measure. We have an accelerator included, uh, it's not an extra, uh, just us in Simple Centrifuge have that. Um, we're offering... Our inline heater bolts right up to the leg, stainless steel housing, EC approved, uh, 1500 watt inline heater. Um, I'm going to show you a movie, okay, uh, just on the inline heater. And I mean, you think it was just self explanatory? Well, here would be the difference. You set this at 160 degrees, well, depending on what the oil flow is, that's the oil entering. If you're flowing it too quick, you can set this at 500 degrees and your oil might still be 120. So we'll show you how you can monitor that, okay? And we might even over time get to put out a chart that will correlate with flow rates. So I think we build a good unit, okay? I think you'd be happy. Our pricing is four, 400 some dollars under each of these. Our pricing is a couple hundred dollars under the WVO designs unit with the power booster um, and it's a larger unit. Uh, at the end of the day we do oil filtration. We don't have a job to go to. We don't run machine shops. This is what we do. We operate a site centrifuge oil filtration. 
Uh, that's our industrial site. That was our first site, okay? Um, we've built equipment for Babcock, Wilcox, JW Aluminum, Weller Trucking, Conrad Industries. Um, that, that's just to name a few. Uh, we will be upgrading our centrifuge oil filtration site and we'll show you a list of 20 to 30 different companies that we've built or supplied equipment to. Okay? Uh, like I said, we don't have a job to go to. Uh, we don't run machine shops. Uh, oil filtration is what we do. Um, you can call us 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, six days a week. Okay, if we don't answer the phone, uh, we will get right back to you. If you call Sunday, I don't answer business calls on Sunday, but I will call you first thing Monday morning. Okay, um, we got a lot more in this series coming for you. Watch it. I think you're going to like the information. Um, these are all good units. Hmm, the end all to be all. Nah, not quite. Not up. They're, they just aren't. Okay. Um, if there's a piece of equipment you can't li live without, I'm suspecting it's the ultimate force. The heck with these guys, okay? You know what? I'm going to put out one that's just slanted, you know. We'll, like, cut their legs down, make them look like real crap. And... Okay. Anyway, we're PA Biodiesel Supply. Uh, we do oil filtration. We bring you quality equipment, excellent customer service, and excellent pricing. Okay? I think this fits the bill. Excellent piece of equipment and our pricing, it's going to kick butt on our competition and that's what we try to do. Okay, if you want to call and talk about the equipment, give me a call. Again, we're PA Biodiesel Supply.